Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. That's the sound, Red Alliance coming right out of the gate. The Nanuit Knights going for a game piece. Are they gonna have time to place it? Megalodon's going for in positioning and getting a nice docking position, engaged. 4860, I don't think quite made the points they needed to get that autonomous round engagement they were looking for on the on the charging station. Megalodons, after being the first team to get into place, now placing a yellow cone into their cooperation community. Megalodons, number 333, three, ranked highest on the field currently at number seven. If we remember from earlier in the match, first team 70-30 with their robot Oprah had a spill costing them what could have been a victory early on. Let's see if they can make up those point differences here. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. First robot, 70-30, almost going for a tip. Potentially caused by the Megalodons. 70-30, able to keep itself upright. They don't call them the Robo-Olympians for nothing. And after just tipping over on their last match, I'm sure they don't want to be in that position again. Take a look at robot 6300. That's Northwood School Robotics. Notice the yellow card next to their number. That was earned in one of the previous matches. Let's hope they've learned their lesson on the field. Less than 30 seconds on the clock. Red Alliance getting into place. 6300 placing its final piece. Blue Alliance, the Nanuits, getting their docking station. Some high tension game plan here. Are the Megalodons gonna be able to get into place to get three engaged units? Oh no, 70-30, saving itself at the last minute. Not quite getting the engagement, but definitely getting a dock from this angle. 66 to 56. Looks like Charge Station played a huge portion of that final score for them. But let's not forget the five penalty points Red Alliance earned.